Today, this video is for Uncle Roger. We're gonna be making some Spanish fried rice. Uh, Hiya! So, it's gonna be a little different. We're gonna be using some Spanish ingredients, but making it more of the Asian way of making egg fried rice. So, it will be interesting. Also, if you do happen to enjoy this video today, guys, then be sure to hit that like button down below and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. But if we can get this video to like 50, maybe even 100,000 likes, maybe Uncle Roger will review it. And I think that would be a pretty cool thing. And if you do want to follow along, I'll leave a recipe down below for you guys to check this out. But this is a work in progress recipe, all right? This is something that I haven't tried before. So let's see how it turns out. Now, let's get started. Now, since we're making this in Spain and it's supposed to be Spanish fried rice, we might as well make it in a paella pan. So let's see how badly it sticks because I think it will. Today we're gonna to be using some shallots. Now you can use onions if you don't have shallots or well, you may piss off Uncle Roger if you use onions, but in any case, we're gonna be using them today because they are readily available here. But onion is quite common in Spanish cuisine. And we're also gonna be using a red bell pepper and the red ones, if you didn't know, are actually sweeter and well, they add a lot of color as well to the dish. Today we're gonna to be using some fresh chorizo. Now, this is Spanish chorizo. There are many, many different types of chorizo. This is not the only type. This is fresh, so that means that I need to cook it because it's raw. Now we're also gonna be prepping a couple of cloves of garlic. It's up to you if you want to slice it or dice it a little finer. If you are going to cut it super small, you need to add it, say, a little later so you don't burn the garlic because garlic can burn very easily. But you do need it because it does add a lot of fragrance to fried rice. Now, saffron. This is one of those ingredients that you have to be careful when buying it because there's a big black market. It is very popular in Spanish cuisine. It's very tasty. It's very expensive. And if it is a little on the cheap side, mm, you need to be a little careful. But saffron does have a very unique smell and very unique flavor, which adds a lot to anything that you add it to. Now today, when honestly thinking about this recipe, I was thinking mm, maybe should I try to use some Spanish rice and bomba or another type of paella type rice? to make fried rice and honestly, at the end of the day, it's not the best rice to use for fried rice. You can, but it's not the best. So what I did is I had to search for it and I got some jasmine. Long story short, I don't have a rice cooker yet because I have a small kitchen. So the rice is already made. You're not gonna see how I made it. I have a lot of rice left over and we're probably gonna be making some more egg fried rice dishes after this since I have so much. We need to use it up. Now I was thinking, should I use a little bit of olive oil or something? And mm, I don't know, maybe we still may add that in the end, but in any case, Lard is actually quite common to use here. Olive oil is the king. This is obviously what they use for everything. They also use butter here in Spanish cuisine, but manteca de cerdo or lard is actually used in quite a bit. Alrighty, so this rice is chilled. We're gonna add the lard into the rice. This will help it to fry a bit. It also adds, like Chef Wong Gong says, a lot of fragrance. To be fully honest, making egg fried rice in a paella pan is not the best idea because it's a different type of method on making rice. So it's a completely different method. With making a paella, you let it sit, you don't move it around, and you can get the socarra, which is on the bottom, where it sticks. And that's what you want. With the egg fried rice, on the other hand, you want crispy bits, but you don't want it to stick to the pan like a you-know-what. Now, now, since we're not adding soy sauce, there's not a lot of salt in this, I'm just going to season this a little bit, just to give it a little bit of flavor. And today, since we don't have sambal, we're going to be adding some carne di nora. So nora is a type of chili, and the carne is actually the meat that they take out of the chili. This is a sauce made from the meat. So it has the flavor of Nora chilies, but it's not spicy. It's not a complete sauce like sambal. This is just chilies. But you do have to admit that this is still a better substitute than adding chili jam. Right, so that's done. Right, now we're gonna make a Spanish fried egg. In my case, I'm gonna be using my little uh, saute pan and my little omelet pan. I'm gonna be filling it with a decent amount of oil. You're gonna be frying this, you know? This is a Spanish fried egg. 
You're gonna get it super hot until the point where the oil is rippling. You're gonna add the egg in. You're going to help cook the yolk and cook any of the whites on top because it's gonna start popping. Don't be afraid if it pops. If it does, use the cloth, the kitchen cloth to protect yourself. And after a few seconds, about 10, 15 seconds, the egg should be done. The hotter the oil, the faster it'll cook. And you want this nice crispy bottom on the egg. This is the most important thing with the Spanish huevo frito. Now I have to admit that this looks a little too red, so we're gonna add a little bit of color to it. And well, we'll give Uncle Roger something to put his leg down. I'm gonna put some parsley on it. Okay, we're gonna put this on top. Voila. Put a little more parsley on top. There we go. Now it's time to taste. And you can tell that this egg is perfect. That is absolutely perfect. The way to make a Spanish fried egg is to the point where it just runs out like liquid gold. And watch this. Look at that. That is beautiful. Let's just cut up the egg a little bit. Get a little bit of chorizo, some egg, get a little bit of everything. Hmm, interesting. Overall, I have to sum this up as not bad, tasty, but this was the first time that I made it with literally not trying it before. And I would change a few things. I would make it a little spicier because right now the flavor of the chorizo is the most dominant thing. And surprisingly, the saffron is quite strong as well. But the chorizo is like very strong. So more garlic, a little spicier, and maybe you can even try adding some fish sauce or even some real sambal to see how this goes because I think we're on to something here. This could be a very good recipe. All right, now guys, after making this, I'm going to ask for your help. Let's try to get this video to 50,000. Oh, screw it. Let's try to get it to 100,000 likes and let's try to get Uncle Roger to review it. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't done so already to my YouTube channel, guys. And well, maybe we will make a normal egg fried rice since we have so much a little later on. Until next time, take care.